Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to promote an event using Eventbrite and Web Starts. And what you're looking at here is an event form that I've embedded in my Web Starts website. So you can see that somebody can register to attend my event directly from my website. It has a convenient little map widget over here on the right hand side and then some sharing options along with my event details and I'll show you how I put this together and then added it to my website to help promote my event. So the first step is to sign up for an Eventbrite account. So you'll want to go to eventbrite.com and once you have created an Eventbrite account you'll want to be logged in like I am now. To get started, you'll click Create Event, and I've already done that for the purpose of this demonstration. And the name of my event is Phenom Florida Baseball Tryout. And you can see by this small green button that my event is live. So in order to customize the information that appears on your event page, you will click on your event dashboard and then click Edit. Here's where you fill out the information about your event, including the address, the time of your event, and any other details that you would like to include. When you're ready to get the widget code, click on the Manage tab, and then go down to Widgets, and click on the Widgets option. And then the widget option that I use for this demonstration is an event page, so I click on Event Page. Now notice there were several other options you can choose for your website, but once again for this demonstration I'm choosing an event page and that has all the pertinent information for my event. When you're ready, select all this code, you can't miss any of it. Right click, choose copy so that it's copied to your clipboard. Come on over to your Web Starts website and log in. And make sure you select the page where you would like your event widget to appear, click on insert HTML code, and then right click and paste that code that's been sitting in your clipboard and click OK. You'll notice a small box here with a little bit of your event information displayed. You can delete that and then you can click on the event page widget and drag and drop that where you would like it to appear on your page. When you're ready, click Save and your event information will be published live to your website instantly. We can see that by clicking on the View Site button. And once again, there's my event information and, of course, a button where my site visitors can register for my event. Going back over to Eventbrite, you can click on the Event Dashboard at any time to see how many tickets you've sold, how many are pending, and the number that are available, along with information on how many people have visited your event page, and a whole lot of promotional tools. It's a great system. I encourage you to check it out, and if you're hosting events and you want to register people on your website, it's a nice way to build a contact database and present a professional event. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to visit webstarch.com, not only to see more videos like this, but also to build your very own free website.